If you click this video, then you're here for one single reason, and that is to find an AI tool that could change your entire life. Now, we all know there's a ton of AI tools out there, and in this series, we're gonna be diving into the, some of the newest AI tools to potentially change your life. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. This tool is an AI agent, which has been trending, and it's called Ninja AI. So meet Ninja AI, an all-in-one AI assistant complete with 20 plus leading AI models from OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, and more. Use AI agents and high quality deep research with ease. Deep research is the cream of the crop as far as AI is concerned. So let's go ahead and watch this video to figure out more about what this tool does. I was even watching. When you click on the website, unlimited tasks starting at five dollars a month. I'm getting perplexity vibes. If, if you haven't heard of perplexity, it's another great one. This one should have more freedom as far as choosing models and customization and generation. So it's boasting six tasks per day for free. Uh, writing and online research co-generation and basic image generation. With the $5 a month plan, it looks like we're gonna have unlimited daily tasks, file upload analysis, custom image settings, and access to 20 leading AI models. All right, let's go ahead and sign up. Interesting. Now we get to see what the $15 a month gives. And it looks like 2K image generation, deep research. So you don't get deep research unless you pay $15 a month. Interesting. Will it be worth it? We shall see. Super agent, super agent. Video generation for $15 a month. Some video generations cost $15 a month alone. That's intriguing. Perplexity vibes for sure. Does have a mobile app. Interesting, interesting. Chat history. Nice. Settings. You get to see. So if you want to use any of these, Gemini 2.0 Flash, great for image generation. You get to see which subscription you need for each of these. And you get to choose individually for writing, coding, image generation, research, deep research, file analyzing, for most of them, you do get to choose. So that customizability is pretty top notch. So deep research, ninja mode, or reasoning, and conventional. And then you could choose from the different external AI models. So as you could see, when looking at this, you pretty much have access to all of these different models. So just the fact that you get to use all these different language models alone, in my opinion, makes it worth it. Deep research is key. It has deep research. It has image generation. So you can pretty much have it do anything that ChatGPT can do, anything that most of these models can do. But one that I don't see included in a lot of these, there's some that I could think of off the top of my head, like Chat LLM or Perplexity. And that is the ability to generate video. Personally, I've used things like Vidu and Imgur, I think. I believe it's called so i'm not well versed in the video generation but i have messed around with it and tried to create content myself and a lot of that image generation is not amazing and you typically need an original image and even then sometimes the images would disappear completely by the end of the video or weird stuff happens weird generations will come out so I don't know how good this is, but just to have that built in, in my opinion, is already better than a lot of stuff on the market. You also have the, oh, you have the option to choose your aspect ratio. Oh, you can also choose your different style. So I'm getting the vibe of like Flux Pro mixed with like Mid Journey and also mixed with ChatGPT. And not just ChatGPT, it's like 
the expensive chat GPT, obviously not the agent one, which is like $200 a month or something crazy. But I think there's a step below that with, with the deep research and deep research, in my opinion, it weeds out the hallucinations for the most part. If you tell it to be scientifically accurate, academically accurate, or if you tell it these specific things, then it typically comes out with no hallucinations, or at least in my experience, I haven't found any hallucinations as long as your prompting is good. So you clicked on this video because you wanted to find an AI tool that could help you change your life. Well, I'm gonna give you more. And that is simple advice about prompting. I've had a lot of experience with prompting and getting prompts that without hallucinations that are scientifically accurate and that are replicable that I could do over and over again. So pay attention to how I prompt and this could help you create better prompts, create get better outputs, generate anything better than you're currently doing now, or if you can do it better, go ahead and tell me down in the comments how you can do it better. How would you improve my prompt? Well, you don't know yet, so not yet. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh yeah, and leave a like. So figure out how to create the very best chat GPT prompts that are up to a prompts engineer's standard. Now, using what you found, comma, provide me with a prompt that will result in a comprehensive breakdown of the latest news in AI. So it's telling me, okay, it's analyzed the best practices for crafting high quality prompts for large language models like ChatGPT, focused on techniques using by, used by prompt engineers. Here's a breakdown. In my opinion, who can create the best prompts for AI to generate other than AI itself? So obviously you could look at this if you want. If not, just ignore it. Go straight down to the prompt. This is the beef. So as you can see, we have a very detailed prompt. You're a highly respected AI research analyst and technology journalist known for your in-depth, unbiased, insightful reporting on the latest advancements in artificial intelligence. Your audience consists of AI professionals, researchers, investors, and technically savvy individuals. Your task is to provide a comprehensive breakdown of the most significant news and developments in AI from the past week. So obviously you can interchange that yourself to ensure that you're getting the very latest news. So it also continues. So as you can see, this is entirely interchangeable. So you could come in here and you can change anything you want. So it wants, it also asks for citations. It asks for detailed sections and it gives constraints. The report should be approximately 800 to 1200 words in length. So you could change that to what, to what you would want. I think 800, 1200 words, that's a decent amount. So that's, yeah, I think that's a good range. Focus on factual accuracy and avoid making unsustained claims, prioritize developments that are likely to have significant long-term impact on the field of AI, and example of a de desired citation format. So, as you can see, this is a thousand times better than any prompt that you could sit down and type. You saw how quick I was able to type out this prompt that gave me this prompt. Leveraging AI in order to accomplish these things is crucial if you do want to succeed with AI. So I'm going to use this prompt and we are going to get an output. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new chat. And obviously your results could be amplified and be 10 times better if you use deep research. I would recommend deep research for practically anything because it, all it does is give it the capability to create a plan and then execute the plan each task individually rather than boom, doing one task all at once. Oh, you want me to do this, 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 and that? Okay, here, boom, here's all that. Out. Use deep research for everything. Without further ado, let's go ahead and paste and see what kind of a report it gives us. All right, so as you can see, the Ninja Agent alone is only capable of so much. This is why I recommend deep research. As you could see, this was just a lackluster output and it did not listen to everything we said. 
and that is confined by their language model or whatever ninja mode. All right, and it is generating the response based off of Llama 3.3. All right, I believe it is misinterpreting what I meant by 800, 1200 words. It seems like it's doing 800 to 1200 characters. So little things like that, you could change and tweak as you go, but let's see what it gave us. Based on the provided context, it appears that there were significant advancements in AI research during the specified time period. According to, gives me a source, LinkedIn. All right. April 2025 has delivered some of the most mind-blowing advances in artificial intelligence so far. However, the significant the specific breakthroughs that occurred between April 1st and April 10th are not explicitly mentioned in the provided context. Information is missing on the specific major breakthroughs during the exact Nevertheless, some notable developments mentioned in the context include the release of Meta's Llama 4, the expansion of computing resources by the AI Innovation Institute, AI3 with NVIDIA HGH100, and breakthroughs in neuroscience-inspired memory systems and quantum materials research. These advancements suggest a period of rapid progress in AI research, but the exact timeline and details of the breakthroughs between these dates are not provided. Okay, so it's looking for very specific things. So this is the output we got. I'm gonna take off the length restraint constraint, and I'm gonna widen this date range real quick. 2025, All right. boom. Let's see how this changes things. So already, oh, these outputs are very lackluster, but I can hold it to this, the free version. You know, like all I'm getting from this is the free version sucks. And if you actually want to use this, you're going to want to pay for it. And it's starting at $5 a month, extremely cheap. But as you can see, I was able to get fantastic prompts or a fantastic prompt in order to give myself some sort of value some sort of input so as far as is my ninja ai worth it by the looks of it if you truly are capable of using all of these language models all of these image generation models deep research file analysis all this stuff you could you could have just a month ago a lot of people were probably individually paying for each of these so the fact that they're all in one tool i think shows us where ai is headed and this could be one of the ones that comes out on top we may never know but taking advantage of a five dollar a month ai tool that gives you this much flexibility freedom you could do anything so would i recommend this absolutely i would absolutely recommend this if you thought that you could use this in any way if you've been thinking about getting chat gpt thinking about getting any of these other large language models absolutely try this out